the jury having found you guilty of conspiracy to commit first degree murder, first degree murder, and convicted felon in possession of a firearm. As the uh, 13th juror, I affirm this verdict. As to the first degree murder, I sentence you to life in prison. I will set punishment as to the conspiracy and the convicted felon in possession of a firearm after a sentence. The jury having found you guilty of conspiracy to commit first degree murder, first degree murder, and convicted felon in possession of a firearm. As the uh, 13th juror, I affirm this verdict. As to the first degree murder, I sentence you to life in prison. I will set punishment as to the conspiracy and the convicted felon in possession of a firearm after a sentence. First degree. All right, man, so this Justin Johnson, man, if you have been following um, Young Dolph's murder case, so Justin was one of the murderers. There was Justin and there was another one, Smith. So today, Justin has been convicted for live in prison. Damn, man, Justin's 24. Live in prison, bro, you, your life is done, man. You must be dumb as F, man. So there was Justin convicted. There's another one, Smith. Smith is not convicted yet. So what action actually happens? Let me just break it down for you real quick. I'm going to keep it very con concise, right? Young Dolph was killed in 2021, if I'm not mistaken. Young Dolph has been beefing with Yogati in Memphis, Tennessee. You know, they have been going back and forth. In 2017, Young Dolph was shot outside an hotel in L.A., um, when he was, he was, I think he was arguing with three men and then he got shot, but you know, luckily he didn't die. That same hotel around that same time that he was shot, your guy, he was there too, but no arrest was made. No connection was made to your guy, according to the police. Fast forward 2021, um, your guy, your guy's brother. By the name of uh, called Jock, was it a Jock? Something like that. Jock, Big Jock, Big Jock. Yeah, it's a big dude. This is him here. Let me show you the picture. Yogadi, this is Yogadi. This is Yogadi's brother, Big Jock, here. So Yogadi put about 100000 to eliminate um, Young Dolph. Mind you, but Young Dolph did not have a direct beef with Big Jock, unless I just don't know why it goes. Um, behind closed doors, but the beef was more directly uh, between Young Dolph and Yogati. So they put 100k. So there's a guy by the name of Govin, Gov Govin, if I'm not, I'm, if I'm saying it right, Gavin, Gavin, something like that. So Gavin, he was like the middleman. So he's the one who did the connection between um, Big Jock and Smith and Justin Johnson, who's uh, who are the murderers, the killers, I'll say. So they put 100K and they had a conversation. They spoke about it for a week. So they made a deal. And also, I think uh, Justin Johnson is a rapper. He was trying to get a deal with uh, CMG, which is um, Yogati and Yogati's brother, record label. As a rapper, he was trying to make a deal. But besides the deal, he also made another deal to kill Young Dolph to get 100000 so the hundred thousand, he was supposed to get forty thousand. The other guy, Smith, the other killer, is supposed to get forty thousand. The middleman supposed to get ten thousand. Who's on um, Gavin? Gavin, who's the the middleman? So they did everything. They knew that uh, Young Dolph would be in the city on Turkey Day, something like that, because Young on Thanksgiving, because Young Dolph and Young Dolph's le le label, Pepe Pepper Right Empire. Paper, what is that? Paper right on pie, right? So they do, uh, they do like uh, uh, give away turkey around that time. So they knew that Young Dolph would be in the city. So they pretty much profiled Young Dolph to to Makita's cookie store, right? They came out with the Mercedes Benz. This is the picture here. I'm not playing the video, just the picture. They came out their white Mercedes Benz and they shot through the windows Young Dolph. They shot Young Dolph, and Young Dolph was there with his brother. They both were in the store buying cookies. They shot Young Dolph, and they killed Young, Young Dolph. Was killed at the scene. I'll say. They got out the car. 
young Dolph brother came out, started shooting at them. Actually, Smith got shot in the leg and shoulder, but they were able to escape. They didn't. They did not shoot back. Uh, young Dolph, um, uh, was that brother cousin, or brother cousin, if I'm not mistaken. So, fast forward, they are in court. All right. So, Justin Johnson actually took 50k from CMG label to pay for his lawyer. He took the money from Yogari and Yogari's brother label to pay for his lawyer. So they basically pay for the lawyer. And the other guy Smith did not take any money. And Smith did plead guilty on the first day of trial. He pled guilty. And Smith said that that was the day that they decided to kill young Dolph. That was uh, his um, daughter's birthday. So he also said that he did not kill young Dolph. He did not kill young Dolph. So he pretty much just played gu- um, plead guilty because he wanted to be out. I think he, he started snitching. Was your man? I have to be out. I can't. I can't deal with this shit. I'm, I'm, I'm good with that. So he pretty much cinched himself. He was like, I'm guilty. I did it. Whatever. He didn't take the money. And the other guy, he didn't take the stand on uh, Justin Johnson. And now he got convicted for life in prison. The only got paid. I mean, I, I'm not sure I, if uh, Justin Johnson got paid, but Smith only got paid 800 out of that 40000 that he was supposed to get. So that he hundred came from uh, the middleman, uh, Govan. Govan, that's the guy. I'm not sure maybe, you know, your, your guy's brother gave Govan the whole the full amount, but he decided to give them just only a hundred. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure if they took a hundred each or they took a hundred to uh to divide it like four each. I didn't get much details on that. So now today he's convicted, but Smith is not convicted yet because the judge, the jury, is going to have another hearing on September 30th. September 30th, they're going to have Smith, Smith, and the middleman. So we might find out what's going to happen to them too on September 30th, which is like four days away from today. So that's basically what's going on here. But uh, I just want to say this, man. This is very dumb, man. At 24, you are very young. 800 bucks, even 100,000, bro. I know it's a lot of money. I'm, I'm broke as hell. I know 100,000 right now is going to do miracle in my life. It's a lot of money. I'll be happy to have it. But I'm not going to compromise my freedom for 100,000. My conscience, my peace of mind for 100,000. I'm not doing that, man. Maybe because I'm not a street, like, a street nigga. I'm not a street guy, man. I came from Africa. I never dealt with the street like that. You know, I don't play with guns. I don't play with the weeds and shit like that. I'm not a gangster. Maybe my mindset is a little different than those do, them dudes because to them, it's like, yeah, I do that every day. This is like, this is nothing to me. But at the end of the day, look how it's happening to you right now. Your whole life, whole life, you just finish it for nothing. For nothing. Hey, on your bucks? Seriously? And that was your daughter's birthday. Smith said he was trying to make a rain on, on his daughter. Bro, you stupid as hell, bro. Go get a job at McDonald's. And now uh, the worst part about the case, no, the worst part about uh, Just, Justin Johnson, Justin Johnson was a convicted felon. It was not even supposed to have a gun. I'm like, bro, what were you thinking? You dumb or what? You are... Oh, you were a convicted felon. You got out and you committed another crime, a murder crime. What were you thinking? Oh, just going back to prison again because you love it so much. You were so comfortable in there. Free food. You ain't got to pay rent. You were like, yeah, man, I got to go back, man. But I, found, I, found, I got to find a way to go to take myself back there. Bro, if that was the case, just go go to the court. Be like, yo, bro. I need to be in court. I need to be in jail, in, in prison. That was prison, no jail. I need to be in prison because I can pay my bills. Yeah, I can keep me over here for free. No crime. Just keep me over here. For you to kill somebody, man. People were feeding off Dolph, man. He had he had families, man. 
I know Dolph was imperfect, but bro, why? But let me also say this, man. The the the, the um, I I I didn't see I didn't I didn't see or uh, hear anything about I didn't hear anything or say uh in the court that making the relationship between the the, the Dolph's murder and Yogati. They made a connection between Yogati's brother, but they didn't make the connection with uh, um, um, Yogati. To me, Yogati has something to do with it. Let's just say allegedly. There's no way Yogati's brother gonna, gonna put 100K to kill Dolph when Dolph was directly beefing with Yogati. So Yogati knew about this shit. And Dolph's brother got killed too. The funny thing, he got killed after another person's funeral. So he was at the funeral. He was getting food after the funeral, and he that's when he that's when he got killed. So people are saying allegedly your guy has something to do with it, which I don't think so. I think those are like Dolph people trying to get back at him. So they're probably gonna come after your guy too as well. But I think your guy has something to do with it because there's no way. A label that she already created with your brother putting out their 50k or 100,000 to, 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 to eliminate someone, and they also want to pay 50,000 or no want to, but they also paid 50,000 for someone's lawyer who committed a crime. Like, bro, this is our label. We are like the top dudes on the label. We own the label. So if the label's taking 50k to pay some lawyers, I have to know, I have to agree to, I have to, I have to be like, yo, what is this for? What what happened? So you gotta know something. I went to his um IG. Yeah, people were talking. One thing about the NNN, bro, the NNN ain't gonna lie. They will tell you shut up. If you did something wrong, they'll go to your comment section. I've been seeing it. People have been going to French Montana's uh, uh IG post telling me about the Diddy stuff. So the NN is telling you got it, yo, they're coming for you. They're coming for you. And they're telling uh, they're also telling Angela to leave your guy. Things of the nature. But um, I think your guy has something to do to do with it, allegedly. In my opinion, that's what I think it is. But this is super dumb, though. It's super dumb. You're gonna waste your whole life for hundred thousand, forty thousand, even, bro. Get a job. You can make forty thousand. Like, at least just sell weed. Just don't don't kill anybody. But um, young Dolph, young Dolph's baby baby moms posted something after the verdict. So she said, today's verdict brings relief and restores my confidence in the justice system. On behalf of my children, family, and myself, I would like to thank law enforcement, the prosecution, and everyone involved, uh, everyone involved for their diligent work in presenting the facts that led to this conviction. We are also grateful to the public for standing with us and advocating for accountability throughout this process. The past three years marked by the loss of Adolf, which is young Dolph, and the events leading to the trial have been incredibly frustrating. I've been incredibly frustrating. My faith has been tested by Adolf, by Adolf's tragic Execution has only strengthened my resolve to fight for justice, not only for him, but for all black men. This is just the beginning of our journey toward achieving full justice for Adolf, and we and we will patiently support the unfolding of that process respectfully of the process respect, respectfully Mia Jai Jai, that's her name. Yeah, man, that's hard for the family, man. They would never, they would. This, things ain't gonna never. Things ain't never gonna be the same, though. Never gonna be the same. Young Dolph was like, um, uh, uh, the main man in that family. So, man, that's what I have to say about this case, man. Well, he got what he deserves. So I ain't see no, I don't see anything wrong with it. And the other guy, I'm pretty sure he's going to be convicted as well. He's probably gonna do 15 to 20, but. Yeah, something gonna happen. We're gonna find out on September 30th. That's what I have to say. Catch you next time. Peace out, family. I'm out.